There were lots of highlights in the Colt Raider game. The only bad news, of course, was the, the that, final score. The he final highlight here. was the worst. That was. <laughs> the final one. Casper's third touchdown pass. Somebody's got to lose. It's too bad, you know. Colts had a good season, though, and uh, it's all over. Well, let's see those <laughs> sad highlights. <laughs> and they were terrible. Some of them, anyway. The Colts have an armchair view of the rest of the NFL playoffs. The end came about four hours after the opening kickoff when the defending Super Bowl champion Raiders were fortunate enough to score first in the second sudden death period of the third longest NFL game in history. As you know, the final was 37-31, to 31, but here's how it started. Well, we're watching uh, the Denver highlight uh, of this afternoon's game, which Denver, by the way, won over Pittsburgh, and I think we'll get to that in just a moment. Well, we're going to go right back to it. Now, here we go. Clarence Davis in the first uh, quarter puts Oakland on top by a score of 7 to nothing on this 30-yard run. Bruce Laird at the last had a chance but slipped through his hand. And Baltimore came right back. Watch this. Stabler goes for Van Egan here at the 38. Bruce Laird steps right up in front of him, and he takes the ball back 67 yards. It's the longest return of the AFC playoff history. And quite a pick. He'll show it to you one more time. Watch Van Egan. Comes out of the right. Stops at the 38. Laird comes right up in front of him, steps up, grabs the ball. That's his fourth interception of the year, and that ties it back up at 7-all. Uh, now, following a Colts field goal for a 10-7 halftime lead, Stabler brings the Raiders back with this 41-yard pass to Cliff Branch. That gives Oakland a first and 10 at the Baltimore 28-yard line. Then two plays later, the Snake finds Casper for the first of three touchdown catches in the ballgame, and Oakland is back out in front 14-10. Three seconds later, by way of the official clock, Marshall Johnson, now watch this, brings the hometown crowd back to its feet with cheers, and this electrifying 87-yard kickoff return goes all the way. He's been with the club three years, two knee operations, been on the injury list a lot, but he sure didn't look like it here. 17-14, Baltimore back on top. Now, following another exchange, Baltimore's forced to punt, but Lee's attempt here is blocked by Ted Hendricks, and Jeff Barnes, number 56, picks it up over the left side, and the Raiders have a first and 10 at the 16 of Baltimore. A couple of plays later, again, the big redhead is open over the middle and Stabler with lots of time. Look how much time he has. He hits Dave Casper with a 10-yard strike, 21-17, Oakland on top. Now watch this, pretty smart play. Fourth and just inches to go. Stabler takes all the time, 30 seconds, hoping to draw the Colts, rocking back and forth offsides. It doesn't work. And uh, now in the fourth quarter, still 21-17. Jones has taken them almost 70 yard here at interference call against Lester Hayes on Dowdy. Then uh, just with interest to go, Lee goes over, 24-21, Colts are back on top. Is it Seesaw? Now Stabler drives the Raiders downfield with some help. Here Nelson Muncie gets an interference called against him as he uh, tries to uh, defend against Cliff Branch. And Pete Banizak then goes over the right side, 28-24, Oakland takes the lead again. Jones now, nine minutes to go, calls the best drive in the game for the uh, Colts. Chester, 30-yard pass over the middle, and he hangs on to the football. Burt now finds Ron Lee coming out of the backfield, a first down at the 27-yard line of Oakland. Now this time Lee again, he'll carry it around the left side behind some good blocking, and it's first and 10 at the 13. Now the Ron Lee show will end with Ron Lee going up the middle with a nice cutback. Watch this, back inside, touchdown, and Baltimore's on top, 31-28. Now with just minutes left and a couple of possession changes, Kenny Stabler and Casper, this is the play of the game. If it doesn't work, Oakland loses, but uh, Casper hauls it in between three Colt defenders, first and 10 at the 14. Earl Mann kicks a 22-yarder, ties it up 31-31, 26 seconds left. Mann has a try in the extra period from 48 yards out. It's blocked by Mike Barnes, but then following another couple of exchanges, Stabler starts from good field position here. He'll hit Cliff Branch. On third and 19, watch right at the marker. Now watch where Branch goes down. See the marker on the far side? Just barely enough for the first down. Then Bolitnikov takes in this one from eight yards out. The first sudden death period ends. They change fields, and here's the uh, backbreaker. Casper, left corner of the end zone, his third touchdown, and that's all it took, 37 to 31. That was the final, and a tough one to lose. And uh, it was a good ball game. The crowd loved it. And neither team uh, really did anything bad or anything good. As far as the Colts go, they made some mistakes. So did the uh, Oakland Raiders. But it was a good football game. And not one fan left until that final touchdown to Dave Casper. Burt Jones didn't have a super day, but the passes that he did complete did come at the right time. Here's how Jones and Stabler finished up as far as passing. 12 of 26 for Burt, 164. Stabler, 21 of 43, 45. The rushing, Van Egan and Davis, you see the stats there, 76-48. Mitchell, 67 yards on 23. And Lee had 11 carries, 46. 
Blitnikoff, the top carrier or catcher, 7 of 88, but Casper's four were the most crucial for the uh, Raiders' victory. And for the Colts on the receiving end, Chester only caught one, Dowdy one, Mitchell three for 39, and Scott two for 45. A tough one to lose, as I mentioned, uh, for uh, either team. Both played well at times. Both made some key mistakes. I don't think it was a matter of choking for the Colts. There were drop passes on both teams. There were fumbles. The defense, for the most part, kept the Colts in the game. But for the Raiders, while well, Stabler, who, as far as I'm concerned, is still the master of his trade right now in the NFL. He came through poised and calm and really impressive also was Ray Guy. His punting was unbelievable. So now Oakland moves on to the AFC title game, and the Colts will take some time off before regrouping next summer. You may not always agree with the way Marcia Broda and some of the players do things, but you have to admit one thing. Ted has brought a winner back to this town, and how many NFL cities can say that or have ever been able to say that?